this what, what to get this in the able ceiling. to be wired straight to the the driver well there, yeah but if you open this up the wire nuts are completely straight up to the top there's a plate that holds the driver that's all the way up to the middle so to take an in and out flex like these guys there's no room there's no room to splice and terminate and shove them in there. There's no wiring compartment in this whatsoever. I don't know that we have these exact same lights. What we were we were talking about uh, the control system, the end light system. Oh, I don't like that either. But you know, <laughs> <laughs> no, you need a head end panel. I mean, if you really want to, if you really want versatility yeah. and ease of installation, run the extra wire. Put your panel at the beginning. The only advantage to the end light is you're running Cat5 to control everything, right. which you probably would be doing anyway to local wall switches. Right. But there's a million little Cat5 ends to make up and put on. Really? I mean, I, I, found a, a manufa I found a manufacturer, a supplier, that I actually make the whip for a buck and a quarter a piece. I said, give me 50. You know, right. Then I right. can tack all my relays together. Sure, sure. But I got to make custom troughs for all the relays. If I have five, seven relays in one location, I'm putting it in a G4000, drilling it. But I'm putting them all in one spot, you know, and, and then you 